And for weeks, East Tennessee Representative John Reagan and Nashville District Attorney Glenn Funk have gone back and forth on the enforcement of the controversial transgender bathroom sign law that requires businesses to post signage if they allow inclusive restrooms. Well, News 2's Gerald Harris joins us from the Davidson County District Attorney's Office where DA Funk spoke today. Gerald, what can you tell us? Well, Alex, he talked to Jim Schulman, Nashville's vice mayor, on a wide ranging topics of for the city of Nashville, including rep responding to lawmakers like Representative John Reagan, who called Funk's refusal to enforce the law offensive. Funk has maintained that he has prosecutorial discretion and checking when and where people are using the bathroom is not high up on that list. It is one of uh, the core principles that's built into our constitution. Uh, you know, we've had some issues where state legislators don't necessarily think that uh, I should have discretion to uh, make decisions based on what I think is important for our community. Now, Representative Reagan is not giving up on his bid to force Funk to enforce the law. The Oak Ridge Republican saying in a previous statement to News 2, saying in part, it is the duty of each district attorney general to whom any violation is reported to cause appropriate proceedings to be instituted and prosecuted in a court competent with competent jurisdiction without delay. Now, violation of this law is a misdemeanor, but enforcement still remains a question. The law comes into effect July 1st. Reporting in Nashville, Jordan Harris, News 2. Thank you so